Euclid's Elements, Book 4, Proposition 3. To circumscribe about a circle a triangle that is equiangular with a given triangle. Got a given triangle here. Call that A, B, C. And we have our given circle right here. Okay, let's see. Step one. So the first thing we do is we extend out base AB in either direction. And then our first main step is to find the center of this circle. We'll call it, call it K. And what we ultimately want to do is to circumscribe a triangle about this circle, which will be equiangular with our given triangle. I'm actually going to move this go here. It's so book one, sorry, prop one, book three, we've got our center K. And then we utilize prop 23 of book one a couple of times. And we've drawn, we'll draw a KL at random. And then utilizing prop 23, we're going to create an angle LKM that is going to be equal to our angle that will be equal to our angle CBD. And I'll write this up. So we say angle MKL equals the angle C, CBD. And then we use 20, prop 23 a second time. And we make angle NKL equal to the angle EAC. So angle NKL equals the angle E A C. And then utilizing the porism from prop 16 of book three, we draw we draw lines outside from outside the circle that are tangent to the circle at points M, L, and Call this triangle that's been made here, we'll call that P, Q, and R. And we also know from Proposition 18 of Book 3. Because we have radii drawn to the tangent point, we know that the, the adjacent angles of the tangent point will be equal to each equal to a right angle. So we've got our right angles. I'll say the adjacent ang each adjacent angle at tangent points will be a right angle. So adjacent angles at tangents. equal right angles. And if we look at our quadrilateral MKLQ, he says, Euclid says that in as much as we can divide this figure into two triangles, we then know that the four angles are equal to four right angles. And since the angle KMQ is a right angle and the angle KLQ is a right angle, that means that the remaining angles, Q and MKL, are equal to two right angles. So angle Q plus angle MKL equal two right angles. And then, I'll keep this in the same step, using the same line of reasoning, we can show that the angle of R, the angle at R, is equal to the angle L, K, N. So angle R plus, sorry, not equal to it, they're, they're both equal to two right angles. So angle R plus angle L, K, N equal 
two right angles. And we know from Proposition 13 of Book 1 that the angle CBD and CBA are equal to two right angles. two right angles. And likewise, Proposition 13 again, the angle EAC and CAB are also equal to two right angles. And now we can apply common notion number one using what we've got in both lines and both steps five and six. So since we knew that the angle Q and, and angle MKL are equal to right angles, and these two are equal to two right angles, we can, we can say they're equal to each other by common notion number one. Things equal to the same thing are equal to each other. So angle Q plus angle MKL equal the angles CBD plus the angle CBA. And then we can use the second line in step six, common notion number one again, combine that with second line in step five, and we would know that R, angle R plus the angle L, K, N equal the angles E, A, C plus the angle C, A, C, A, B. And then utilizing common notion number three, we can subtract equals from equals. Back at our first or second step, we know that MK, the angle MKL is equal to the angle CBD, so we can subtract it from both sides of the equation. And we'll be left with angle Q equaling the angle CBA. So CBA equals angle Q. And then we, utilizing or using common notion number three again in this step, we know from <clears throat> step two that LKN, LKN or NKL, same, same angle, is equal to EAC. So we can subtract it from both sides of the equation, subtract them, and we get angle R equals the angle CAB. Now, using proposition 32, and I, though it doesn't say it in the text, I think common notion number three, we can, because we have two triangles, namely P, Q, and R, and C, B, and A, with two angles equal respectively, then the remaining angle must be equal. Because equals with the, with the two triangles, we know there are three angles add up to two right angles, and then we subtract the equals, namely the two equal angles, from the two right angles, which would leave us with angle P, angle P equaling the angle at C. And now we've got this triangle QPR equiangular with the triangle BCA, and we showed earlier that the sides of the triangle PQ, QR, and RP, the sides are respectively tangent at points M, L, and K, which means by definition five of book four that the triangle has been circumscribed about the circle. Q, E, F. 